Hello queens and welcome back. It is Queen of Queen She Me and today I'm coming to you guys with another chat with the queen video. It has been a while since I've come to you guys and just actually came and just sat down. Just pretty much just talking with you guys. Not regarding natural hair. Not even natural not even regarding like beauty or anything of that such i just simply want to come on here today again to chat with you guys regarding relationships and i don't know why all of a sudden i wanted to talk about this topic i think it was because one day i may have just been having a reflective moment i think that's really what it was i was having like a moment of reflection and so i was just like i would really like to talk about relationships because whether they are like intimate personal you know just like by acquaintance and even just like working or just even going to like different events and places or whatever you may be a part of we are always and will constantly be forming relationships but why do we form relationships and i know for me now that i've gotten older i have again been doing a lot of self-reflection so before we get any deeper into today's conversation first please make sure if you haven't done so already to go ahead and subscribe down below and if you are subscribed thank you so very much just make sure that your notifications are on so that we can be notified when i upload another video here on my youtube channel okay queens so back into today's topic on relationships um i know probably like growing up everyone seems to have all these friends right and it's just like you're gonna be my friend forever we're gonna be best friends like pinky slayer like we got the bff chains and the matching shirts and oh just in our um books of you know like what is it called um our senior book or whatever the case may be and when you get older you start to realize that you really do take into consideration who and what you are really going to be forming a relationship with and i feel that it's just so very important because the people that you decide to let into your life in some way are going to impact you whether it be positive whether it be negative in between happy sad whatever the case may be some way shape or form that relationship is going to have an impact on you so for me now that i've gotten older i really and truly do cherish relationships i really don't have a lot of friends which i'm not ashamed of i feel like you shouldn't be ashamed of that if you do not have a lot of friends because honestly you really don't have to have a whole bunch of friends i feel to even be happy now i know for me you know i am in a relationship i've been in a relationship for now um almost eight years and people fail to realize that when you get into a actual intimate relationship you're not just dating like boyfriend girlfriend or boyfriend boyfriend girlfriend girlfriend whatever your preference may be that you know you really do start to learn a lot about yourself about your partner and to what it is that you expect out of people in a relationship now typically you would probably thinking you know well queen why would you not already consider that before you even get into an actual intimate relationship and i feel because when you're friends with someone it's usually for some particular reason sometimes you were introduced to that person through another person sometimes it may have been from a previous job or it may be from a previous event or you may have just met someone out on the street or whatever the case may be again we are constantly forming relationships on a daily basis but the question is and the question for me that peaked for me was why do i have these relationships with these certain people and sometimes it's whatever is in you or whatever it is that you're going through at the particular moment whether it's something good bad positive with your kids or if you don't have kids a lot of things in turn will cause you to form these relationships unknowingly and then after a while you're starting to think you know okay well cool we're friends we're cordial or not even just cordial but you know we're friends you know i consider you a friend or whatever but sometimes things will change and then you'll start to realize well maybe they weren't what i thought they were or maybe this friendship or relationship isn't going in the direction that i thought it was naturally going to go initially and so for me anytime that i meet people i really do have to fill people out and honestly i've always been that way um i'm not one to just really just become friends with anybody and i mean if you know me and if you grew up with me then yes you know that you may have hung out with me or whatever the case may be but again typically when you're growing up everyone has a whole lot of friends okay or aka acquaintances <laughs> acquaintances we're getting tongue-tied today and so 
you know, naturally when you're younger, you want to be in the in crowd, or not necessarily in the in crowd, but you want to feel appreciated. You want to feel like you're a part of something, yo, or you're able to identify yourself with something, I should say. And I find that even now, um, when I meet people or talk with people, um, that a lot of times that people are in these relationships or whatever you want to call them simply because they they are seeking something out of that person that they didn't have and i know for me personally i have been used that way because i mean again when people are looking for something or need something and they're not able to give it to themselves or they don't know how to look within to even discover it yeah a lot of times people will attach on to you simply because they're trying to get something and whether that be material wise physical or even in the spiritual sense like people can literally attach on to you so when it comes to relationships i really do consider who and what it is that i am going to be you know very close with interactive with because i feel that once i open myself up to you and we in a sense form this relationship that um it's going to be an equal exchange and i know that sometimes in having friendships that sometimes you can give a lot more and not just friendships relationships and again acquaintances sometimes you can give a lot of yourself and sometimes they won't give you anything back like again it doesn't have to be monetary or material wise but a lot but again when you're in a relationship you're both getting something out of the relationship it is a partnership it is a pretty much a contract a, a verbal or a written contract however you would like to put it and for me you know that's important because again like for example this platform for me this platform is not just about coming on here and trying to get people to you know to join the community because i want it to grow no for me my platform is for women of color who are seeking themselves Pretty much, if you're looking for yourself, seeking yourself, trying to really dive deep into figuring out who it is and what you are and where you're supposed to be doing in this world, this is that platform. And for me, it started through the natural hair. And so I just initially started this platform sharing my natural hair journey. But in turn, I've been able to share a lot of my own personal experiences here and have been able to help women who are able to relate and even share some of their own stories and testimonials with me as well. So that's the exchange there. It's not like... I'm coming on here and I'm wanting you to join and then I'm just trying to get my views, my accounts, and then I'm trying to get money and everything like that. Like, no. Everybody's trying to get their money and their coins, but that's not why I'm here on this platform. So again, we all have a relationship here because you decided to subscribe here to my channel for a particular reason. It's something that you guys saw or you're seeking or that you liked about me. So you decided to stay and join the community and continue to hopefully keep reaping those benefits of what the content that I'm placing here on this platform. So again, relationships, I do not take them lightly and I don't feel anyone should. And I mean, in any particular situation, you should really consider all of the factors in any type of relationship. Because again, depending on what that person is in your life for, sometimes it may not be for your good. Sometimes it can be for the worst of things. So you just have to be really mindful of that. And I know for me personally, I have gotten hurt in that way. And I guess in me coming on here talking about relationships, I just want to try to save someone else from, you know, I can't save you, but to try to help you not have as much heartache, I should say. So when it comes to relationships, you should really consider why you are wanting to be their friend, their acquaintance, or whatever the case may be, and understand too as to what they're expecting out of you in our friendship. Because a lot of times, it's just simply not communicating your needs and your wants. And a lot of times, People aren't mind readers. <laughs> Last time I checked, I'm not a mind reader. So I know personally, I tell folks all the time, I can't read your mind. You have to tell me what it is that you want or if I'm doing something or if I'm lacking, slacking off, whatever the case may be. So that way we can fix it. We can work on it and try to have this, you know, keep our relationship and not just to keep it, but to just make sure that it grows and continues to flourish and that we both will be happy in this relationship. So... I know for a prime example, even with being in a relationship, I mean, yes, it's easy to get comfortable with your spouse and then you will naturally assume that they know what you want. They know what you like. Um, they should know that you like things a certain way or you should have known that that's what I was talking about. Like, no, you have to be very clear, like crystal clear to the point and just let your voice be heard. Like, don't be afraid to voice your opinion on something that you may not be um, getting or lacking or something that you just may simply not like or care for. And so, in former relationships, I feel that you should be, again, mindful of why they are there in your life because 
again you don't want to be wasting your time and energy on a person place or thing if you need not necessarily have to so for me i have had to learn the spirit of discernment and for me it's just well, if you don't know what discernment means, it's just pretty much being able to see things for what they really are. For, like, the blatant truth. Like, seeing through the bullshit, I should just pretty much say. And that's just how I am. Like, it's very hard for someone to just pull a wool over my eyes. Like, no. We're not playing that game. Like, I can pick up on you, like, in a heartbeat. And so, when I meet people, I genuinely like to meet you. Um, honestly, not in a big crowd setting because how in the hell can you form a relationship or even get to know someone if you can't even hear and have a proper conversation like we're having right now. So, for me, I really do cherish actually being able to, you know, have that private time to hang out, to get to learn you, to get to know you and everything like that. And stuff and two a lot of times people feel that relationships always have to be sexual no they don't like for a prime example a lot of people don't expect for a man and a woman to simply be friends and me personally um i don't feel that to not be so because why does a man and a woman have to sleep together just to have some form of relationship to me that's just sick and that's just idiotic and i mean that's just so simple-minded <laughs> and i mean it's just no way in hell if I was to be straight, that I'm simply just going to start sleeping with a male just because we're friends. Like, no, like, you don't have to do that. And it's the same thing even if you're, um, you know, in a same-sex relationship. Like, a lot of people feel that you cannot be friends. That's not true. <laughs> that is so not true. And so you just have to be able to have that spirit of discernment to understand why those people are actually trying to, you know, become a part of your life. What is it that they're seeking? Or what is it that they see in you that they like? And pretty much the same thing. What is it you see in them? Why do you like them as a friend? Because you can like your friends. You can love your friends. I mean, I love my friends. And honestly, I only have three close friends. I really do. And I love them to death. They are my sisters. I literally call them my sisters. And we may not talk every day, but I know that they have my best interests at heart. They're going to tell me straight up to the point what it is that I need to hear. They're not going to tell me what it is that I want to hear. They're going to tell me straight up what it is that I, they know I need to hear. There's a difference there. And I appreciate that. You know, and I cherish that because that's hard to come across. And it's the same thing, again, if you're in a personal intimate relationship. You need to be able to be open in a relationship to be able to listen to their viewpoint and then for them to be the same way because you're not always going to agree but if you're able to actually sit down and be able to have an actual conversation and to just be able to respect each other's viewpoints that will help and push you guys along in the long haul like it really will and so for me relationships you know again i really do value them like if i consider you a friend um i consider you a friend and i don't use that term lightly if anyone has met me hung out with me or anything like that i treat you just like like you need to be treated like i'm not gonna treat you any differently i'm gonna respect you and i respect that in return and so when it comes to relationships i feel you know we are so quick to just jump into things you know because we're so excited and we're so happy that you know that we could possibly have like a new friend but sometimes you have to really feel people out you have to really get to know them you know hang out with them you know or whatever the case may be because sometimes people are real scammers and i know i've been in relationships where people have used me you know and i didn't realize that until into the relationship or near the end when it was over and you know i've learned a lot over the years and you know you just have to really just be open you have to really you know pay attention and a lot of times things will be right there in front of you and you just don't want to adhere to it you just don't want to see it you don't want to recognize it you just don't want to believe it you just don't you just don't want to and you can't believe that that person is what you see them to be and sometimes it can be hard in a relationship but you have to realize too that you're in this relationship together like with this person this friend or whatever your title is with them and so you have to realize like is it is it worth me staying in this relationship like it's really not helping me any if anything they're causing me a lot of hurt a lot of ache a lot of pain and i'm just feeling low and down and that really can bring down your self-esteem i know for us women you know in a sense it can be a lot easier for us with our self-esteem because we're the feminine energy so we're so in tune with ourselves we're emotional beings i mean hello we carry and help create life so i mean how could we not be super emotional there's <laughs> just no way around it so 
what I'm saying is be very mindful in um, your energy and who it is that you're keeping in your circle. And I know a lot of people say, oh, my circle's small. I seen this one meme when, pe when, some, when people were posting it saying that their circle is the size of a pin drop. Like, all right, now, y'all are taking it to a whole nother extreme. Like, I understand what you're saying, but again, no matter how big or how small your circle is, if it's big, be mindful of all those people that are in your large circle. And if it's small, medium size, whatever the case may be, still be mindful. And you know, and a lot of times too, people fail to realize that people grow, people change over the years, and that is okay. And you have to be mindful of that when you're in these relationships. It's not gonna work out. We're gonna waste each other's time. And honestly, it's no time. I mean, I have to vouch for that because I lose track of time all the time. And so I don't want to just be wasting the now. People or stop trying to get something out of people or stop trying to, you know, just be underlying and just, you know, being in this friendship relationship or whatever because, you know, you're able to call them with all your problems or, you know, with the latest gossip or this and that, like... I cannot now like I'm at a place now where I don't want to hear none of that shit like it can just become so much and that people too well sometimes usually because they know that you're a lot more emotionally stable and so sometimes people will honestly jump into a friendship with you because they know that they can come to you with their woes and their problems not saying that that's a bad thing that you know that your friends shouldn't be able to come to you to talk to you about some of the hardships that they're going through because I feel like you should be able to I mean like if you're friends I want to be there for the good and the bad damn it I'm not going to just be there for some times like, I want to be there for all the time and so for me um yeah I, I can't I can't be that emotional ship for you I can't carry you I can't do that for people and I had to learn that too because I would feel so down and I started noticing my energy would be low or when I be mindful of your energy and I'm very mindful of my energy and my time and who I'm around and who I choose to spend my time with because you know it's valuable and I and again it's not just my time but your time is valuable as well and so you know again it's even though it's no such thing as time necessarily and I mean again I really don't have any sense of time <laughs> you know because I'm really like the present moment like now and so for all right when a relationship doesn't work out it's okay if a friendship doesn't work out because sometimes you're only in each other's lives for that specific time span and that's okay because sometimes they were there because you need to learn a lesson sometimes you were in their lives because you need to give them some kind of knowledge some kind of wisdom some kind of motivation some kind of encouragement during that particular time in their life and i find those people to where when i fall out of a, like friendship or a relationship that i have like bad blood with you i don't feel like that's necessary because to me that's just a sign that you're still holding on to whatever that is from that past relationship you haven't really fully dealt with that and i don't feel the need to feel any kind of way about something that didn't work out because for whatever reason it just didn't work out and obviously i'm good you're good so why am i going to be having any kind of resentment towards something that wasn't meant to continue on at that particular time now i pretty much concludes this video for today queens i think that's all i really wanted to talk about and pretty much touch on because again i just do not take lightly just jumping into friendships because i know i have winded up forming relationships with people because simply we work together and sometimes that hasn't always been the best sometimes i cannot carry again all of that emotional baggage i already have my own crap going on and i can't be a light for myself and for you if i'm still trying to make sure that my little match is still lit and not going to blow out if you guys watch fifth element if y'all know that movie with chris tucker in it with the with the match and he was trying to make they was all trying to make sure that match didn't go out so they could save the world yeah during those times that's how my little flame was and i I didn't have time to try to light yours and mine about to go out, okay? So, queens, I hope you guys enjoyed today's chat with queen video. Make sure to check out the playlist down below. I'll have a link down below in the description bar because I've actually had a few other videos that I've done for the chat with queen series. It's just been a little time. But I'm getting back into the swing of this series, you guys. So if you have any kind of questions or topics that you'd like for me to discuss with down below, you guys, in the comment section. I got tongue tied then. But definitely make sure that you are subscribed and definitely make sure that your notifications are turned on so you can be notified when I upload new content here on my channel and all of my other social media platforms are listed down below in the description bar as well so 
Thank you so much for hanging out with me today, queens. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, you guys.